What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? This is Min for Architecture Inspirations. Today, I'm going to show you the new features in Twinmotion 2021. Let's get started. Number one, new user interface. When you first open up Twinmotion 2021, you will see the user interface has been improved. On the top, there is a new header panel, which will show you the shortcuts for navigating in Twinmotion. This is really helpful for new users to learn Twinmotion easily. If you click on the gear icon, you can change the navigation controls to be similar to different 3D softwares such as 3ds Max, ArchiCAD, SketchUp, etc. For those of you who have a controller or a touch device, then you can change the navigation here. Finally, if you don't need this header panel, then you can hide it here. To reopen it, you can click on the I menu and go down to navigation and turn it on. Speaking of the I menu, it's also been redesigned to create a better user experience. Here you can access different settings such as time of day, speed, screenshot, pedestrian and fly mode, VR, views, clipping plane, etc. Next to the eye is the full screen mode button. While in full screen mode, you will see more settings such as the materials button. This takes me to number two. Number two, new non-realistic rendering styles. While in full screen mode, the materials button allows you to switch between different non-realistic rendering styles such as hidden line, hidden light shaded, plaster, wood, metal, foam, etc. This is great for when you want to focus on the form of the design or replicate a handmade wood model. Pretty cool, huh? Note that this new menu is available both in the full screen mode and in the Twin Motion Presenter. Number three, phasing in Twin Motion Presenter. The phasing tool is now available inside of the Twin Motion Presenter. To use it, go to the I menu and go down to phasing and turn it on. Then you can adjust the phasing using this slider here. You can also move around while looking at the different faces. As you can see, this new addition makes it really easy to showcase a construction project with different faces while doing a presentation. Number four, new assets. In Twin Motion 2021, there are 140 new assets, including new characters, which consists of casual, healthcare, and senior characters. They have also added new indoors and outdoors sports equipment assets. Last but not least, they have added 20 high-resolution trees that are native to Asia and North America. Similar to the existing trees, these new ones were also procedurally made, so you can change the age of the tree using the slider here. Number 5. Tint on Vegetation In the new update, you can now add a tint to the leaves and bark of the trees and bushes. This is great for when you want to match the color with the other trees or make it stand out like so. You can even do it to the color of the tree bark. If you use Vegetation Paint or Scatter, you can select all of the assets and change the tint all at once, or you can just select one type of trees and give a tint to only that type. Pretty cool, huh? Number 6. Quicksoul Mega Skins Assets So far, this is my favorite feature in Twinmotion 2021, which is the Quicksoul Direct Integration into Twinmotion, which allows you to drag and drop Mega Skin Assets into Twinmotion really easily. If you're not familiar with Mega Skin Assets, this is a library of thousands of really high-quality materials and objects. In the library, you will see a new folder for Quicksoul Mega Skins, which includes 3D assets and surface. In each of these categories, there are subcategories which can help you find specific assets easily. For example, in the 3D Assets folder, you can find objects related to buildings, food, industrial, and nature that you can use to populate your scene. Alternatively, you can use the search bar to look for an asset. These assets are stored on the cloud, so to use it, you must first download it with this button here. If you have not signed in yet, then just go here to sign in. And after you have downloaded an asset, you can place it in a scene like so. As you can see, having all of these assets in the cloud will help reduce the size of the Twinmotion installer, but they're still very quick and easy to use. After you have placed the asset in a scene, you can transform it by moving, rotating, and changing the size. On the other hand, the Surfaces category offers a huge collection of realistic materials such as metal, wood, fabric, bricks, and many more. After you have applied the material, you can change the scale, position, and even reflection if you need. 
As you can see, with the direct integration of Quixel Maya Scans into Inmotion, we now have a huge library of 2D assets and materials ready to use. Number 7. Height Map This is another new feature which wasn't in the release trailer but I think it's still very useful and that is the Height Map. To use it, go to the settings of the material and in the bump section, click on More. Here you will see the new Height Map slot. Now you can load in your displacement map or height map and you will see the huge improvement. With the addition of the height map, your materials will now look even more realistic. Number 8. Presenter Cloud You have probably already noticed that the header panel has this push to cloud button. When you click on it, it will start exporting your project to the cloud. After it's done, you can click here to open the presenter cloud. Here you will see your project and click here to view it on the web browser. It might take a while to load depending on the size of your model. But after you're done, you will be able to see your project in the web browser and be able to share it with your clients and colleagues. Pretty cool, huh? Number 9. Bridge to Unreal Engine With Twinmotion 2021, Unreal Engine now has a plugin which enables you to import Twinmotion projects into the Unreal Editor. This will be really useful for those who love to use Unreal Engine to further refine their Twinmotion projects. And those are the new features in Twinmotion 2021. And thank you Twinmotion for the collaboration. Anyway, that's all for today guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and let me know which one is your favorite feature in Twinmotion 2021. Stay inspired guys and I'll see you next time.